Okay, everyone, let's start our the next lab. So this is IM custom roles. So this is our I think nine or tenth lab of level one learn to own cloud challenge. So without wasting much of time, we have to work for one hour. So who want to work for longer hour? Let's do it quickly. Why this always acts not good? Okay, let's sign in with our new Quick Labs temporary account. So it will ask you to confirm, continue, nothing. Okay, great. So here it is pretty simple and nothing need to worry. So first you have to activate the cloud cell. So you guys know how to activate the cloud cell, just click on this button and it will activate the cloud cell and you need to wait for about 2 to 3 seconds and it will provide your cloud cell machine environment where you can run every course. So first code we have to run is that gcloud authorized list. So here it is and click on this authorize button, it will take you to the authorize section and now it is okay this is basically done while um, giving some role to some of the or uh, that project so there are lots of person working in a single project so every person has a different role something like editor so one is viewer similar manner we are working on this virtual environment so there is nothing to worry about let us do it quickly so we trying to create a custom role okay so run the command list the available project so you can run this command but it's not necessary you can skip this step it will just take your time nothing more than that okay so let's copy this code wait see this we have to wait for this whole process to complete okay, let's wait i just told you don't run this code there is no any use of such code it will only show uh, list of that roles with uh, this project id this user has a roles for this okay let's wait little bit okay okay nice now let's run this code complete and we have to replace this role name with uh, role something like this editor let's go with editor okay and delete it use your backspace and delete up to here and press enter okay it's good now once it is done we can use this command to gather the tool of our project yeah now creating a custom now we will create a custom role for our individual or user for this okay we have to create a yml file it is something other file that than the txt file or the doc file that is used for this cloud environment so title description stays and permissions so basically to create a new file you can use the nano command nano command will create a new file this is the file name and this is extension of your file so copy it you can create it manually just something like creating a new file right click on the text stuff and create a new file but in the cloud cell you cannot click or right click okay so save it okay sorry i forgot to say you press ctrl plus x after pasting this code and then press y don't don't worry about this capital or small letter just press y and then press enter okay once this is done copy this code paste it here and uh, press enter wait 
yeah you think this is right good and let's check now use this code create no new role using flag we are just going to create another role using flag having different permissions okay so this is also done now it will list the roles we have created this is just the service don't worry about this Of code now editing an existing so how to edit an existing custom role so to edit it copy it and let me open no need to open anything copy this and uh, paste it here and replace this with editor copy this editor text and use your left arrow key and start deleting do not delete much more space just delete from a small bracket to big bracket area okay and once it is done describe the following command it on the following output yeah we have similar output now we let's create another new file we have to add paste the flowing is we have to paste the flowing uh, permissions so our excel file will look like something this so previously we have created a file so let's copy the same okay here copy this code paste it here and back okay see this add the flowing custom Role definition to YML file, okay. Copy this code, okay, because we are using this code from the beginning, and uh, we have to add some permission more. So, where are the permissions? Okay, so there are two more permissions, these are already there are only two permissions. We are going to add two more permissions, yeah, it is added now. Press Ctrl plus X, then Y, and enter, okay, it is done now let's verify this to open the notepad paste it here and copy this editor so replace this much only okay take care about the space and now paste it if you paste without replacing directly to the console without going to this notepad you can't move your cursor after this see this you can't move your cursor after this line okay so you can't edit here so that was the reason i did something like this and now press enter let's see is it working or not okay let's press y this works so let's check yeah, it is working to do the custom role using flag, which is very simple. I will update and custom role using flag, just to use this execute G cloud commands, and that is done. Nice, so this is a view role similar. Okay, now we will disable a custom role. So, how to disable a custom role? Uh, something like disabling the viewer role it is a viewer role and uh, editor so we will disable first the viewer role just run this code and let's check is it disabled or not so it is disabled now we will know how to delete a custom role so delete the custom role we we'll use this code we are deleting the custom role which types of role that is viewer role okay viewer role is selected and after the role has been selected existing binding remains until seven days nice okay good you just keep in mind while you're working with the google cloud okay on deleting the custom role so if you delete uh, any of the custom role 
uh, by mistake you can just undo this one the cloud is in this command g cloud i have role on delete viewer and give the project id that's it okay let's check it out okay. it will take a little bit time don't worry you will just or uh, yeah this is done so here we have completed our lab i am cloud custom rules now we are ready to go for the next lab and uh, thank you everyone and if you have any problem please comment down i will try to solve it okay thank you thank you very much